My name is Marty and welcome back to Code Gopher. So if you're new to programming or you're just interested in programming and you're like, where do I even start? That's what I'm going to answer in this video. When I started out programming, it was... Marsha Marty here, welcome to phase one of coding. Not <laughs> easy at all to figure out which programming language I actually needed. I started with Batch, which you could call it programming language, I guess. It's just really like controlling Windows more like it. And I've fiddled around with that for a while. I made some pretty complex games for Batch. I even had like graphical, like graphics and stuff like that. Like, uh, like ACR. ACR is where you just use like, uh, letters and numbers to make an image. So like letters, numbers are in keyboard, makes an image. So I started out doing that. I found, hmm, this is taking way too long. There's got to be a better way. I had heard about Python. And they're like, oh, yeah, I'll go try Python. I'm like, wow, I can actually use graphics. And I didn't have to use AC art for it and uh, program every little dot in it. And I thought, wow, okay, Python's the ticket. <laughs> Me and my brother, we were like, yeah, I think most games, most AAA games use Python. Python is the ticket to success. But no, Python is not the ticket. And then we eventually, eventually I found about C++. I'm like, this is a lot faster because what happened was I would keep making these games with Python. I'll actually show you one in a minute. Probably got on my toast popper. Toast popper is that thing. I just keep a toaster. I call it the toast popper. It's where I keep my extra files and whatnot. So, yeah. Okay, here we go. So, oh yeah, we still got sound on this. It's pretty loud actually so yeah I created I had sounds I'd made these sounds myself little menu oh yeah still works okay uh, yeah so I put a ton of time to this game it's got a bit of a glitch so you might be saying okay well it doesn't look like this is running bad at all you know it's decent frame rate we should think right I have a GeForce uh, GTX 1050 or so so kind of medium graphics card so that explains why it runs so good when i didn't have my gtx 1050 graphics card uh it ran so poorly it didn't even run in real time partially because i was the worst programmer ever for python but anyways i was like okay this is too slow gotta find something a lot faster Let's see uh, enter yeah there we go so you may not know this but for this soundtrack i just reversed this first one so that's how you get away with uh <laughs> With, uh, um, reusing soundtracks. I really like the menu because I put a lot of time into it. It took a while, that's for sure. So yeah, so that was that. I put a whole lot of time into it and I'm like, okay, I need something faster than this. So I'm like, oh, C++, learn a bit of C++. And now I've got a different game going on C++. So here's a game I've written in C++. So uh, it works on Linux and Windows. I've got it. So it's a uh, multi-platform for the API for the graphics I'm using. And this one is... SFML. In Python, I was using Pygame, which Pygame is probably not the best graphics library for Python. So anyway, that was my story. I walked into programming, not really knowing what I was doing, and I kind of had to figure it out from there. So this is what this video is about. It's about which programming language should you learn? Which direction do you really want to go? And the answer to that, to which programming language you should learn really begins with what do you, what do you want to do? Like, what's your interest? It's no simple answer. Which one is the best? it depends on what you're doing. Like Spanish, English, and French, and Chinese. They're all wonderful languages, but which language is the best to speak if you're in China? Chinese, of course. Kind of the same thing happens with programming. First question is, what do you want to do? And then the second thing is, here's what programming language you'll need. So if you're interested in doing game development like me, C++ is your absolute best option to go with. C++ is the industry standard. It's used AAA titles, like anything you can think of. That's a big game. It's probably written in C++. EA Games uses C++ extensively. C++ is like the fastest programming language there is. Next to assembly, which is what C++ compiles into. So, so if you're interested in game development, definitely go with C++. I'm thinking of starting a tutorial series for like simple C++ for beginners, because I see a lot of tutorials that it's like, yeah, okay, this guy's great. He knows his stuff. He, he's a genius. He knows his stuff. I see this guy and the thing is, I'm not that much of a genius. Sometimes it's kind of hard for me to understand them. And, and I've been programming for like two, three, four, three years now. I'm considering doing a video series, learning C++ simple for beginners. Next, robotics. If you want to do robotics, C slash C++ are definitely what you want to look into. Now I say C slash C++ because C 
and C++ are pretty much the same language. C is like C++'s dumber cousin, kind of. C++ is used in games more than C because C++ offers object-oriented programming, a bunch of other cool stuff that you need generally for games, while C is good for doing stuff like robotics, it excels at because it has smaller overhead than C. So for robotics, would you use C over C++? I don't know. I don't do robotics. But really, C or C++ will work just fine for robotics. So this here is what C++ looks like, and C actually looks identical. C++ is pretty much C with more features. That's all C++ is. More features is you see this class, this here basic class here is easier to use when you're making video games than it is if you didn't have classes. So that's why C++ is used for games more than C. Although you could write a game in C, it's not recommended though. It would be definitely rec recommended to use C++. And the thing is, it's not a huge deal if you learn C++ then you have to learn C because once you've learned C++ or C, you pretty much know most of the other language. Now, if you're interested in designing or making your own operating system, again, C or C++ are your huge tickets there. The Windows operating system is written. Kernel is actually written, which the kernel in our operating system is the underlying components that make everything work. So that is actually written in C and same with the Linux kernel, it's written in C. Uh, Mac kernel is written in C as well. Now, Windows, other components besides the kernel are written in C++ with Windows, so definitely C++ is a language you need to learn if you're going to be doing OS development, which is operating system development, like Linux, which is what I'm on right now. So what if you're interested in web development, then you're going to want to learn HTML5, which is it's the standard for websites. HTML5 includes HTML, the actual language HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, which I'll show you what HTML5 looks like right here. So this here is a basic little website, I guess you could call it more like just hello world in HTML. This here is like HTML. This little section here is CSS. CSS just decorates HTML so that HTML websites look nicer and JavaScript is so you can actually do things like make games that run on a website. And if I actually just run this HTML5 thing, you'll see that we get hello world. So this little box here that we see this is what JavaScript does. So click OK. This text here is, oh, close out of that. This text here is thanks to HTML. HTML covers that. And this blue background, we have set it to be blue because we told it right here, like blue. So that's CSS. If you want to make websites, HTML5, which the HTML5 bundle is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Next, language. OK, so Python. You might have heard of Python a lot probably a lot. It's a pretty popular language. Where are its uses? No. <laughs> Python, it can do just about anything, just really badly. Python is a fairly high level language. High level language means it's slow, but it'll work on most operating systems. Python, you can do robotics with it. You can make websites with it using Django. You can make games with it, except it's going to run pretty slow. So does Python have a use? If you ask me, I'd say no, definitely not. The thing is, anywhere where you can use Python, there's nowhere that I'd say use Python instead of Java or C++ or HTML. Python's not something you want to learn right off the bat. I see so many people telling beginners, yeah, go, go, go with Python, come on. <laughs> it's like, no, I wish I had not started with Python because I learned a language that I'm never going to use. Python kind of just lets you kind of blindly stumble along. Like, yeah, it's not as complicated as C++, but you don't actually know what's going on under the hood. Whereas C++, you learn about data types such as integers, floats, booleans, all that good stuff. Like, you should know what a boolean is and what a float is. Because, you know, in, in math, you have a float. In math, you have integers. So Python is kind of like a dumbed down language that, in my opinion, isn't that great of a language. Python looks like this. If I run this, got to set my build system to Python a second. Python. If I run that, yeah, one, two, three, because I have this a function that counts to three and this player. So this is what Python looks like. Now, if you're interested in web applications, Java is your ticket. Now, Java is slower than C++. So can you make a game with Java? Yes, you can, but it is going to run slower. The biggest feature of Java is that it's multi-platform. So you can write code once on this, for me, for this on this Linux machine, 
then I can go take this to a Windows machine and it's gonna work just fine. Now, if I took my C++ code here and I take this and I compile it into a binary, which is just ex instructions for a computer, if I take that binary and put it on Windows, it's not going to work. I'm going to have to take this code, bring it to Windows, compile it on Windows, and then it'll work on Windows. C++ is a compiled language. It, all this, at the end of the day, the computer cannot understand this. It doesn't understand what the heck you're talking about. It takes all this, translate it into something the computer can use, which I'll show you. On Windows, it's an exe file. On Linux, um, it doesn't say it's an exe file, but it's basically an exe file. This code here is the equivalent of this file here, right? This this file here is all this code compiled into assembly, and assembly is like the lowest level language you can get, right? So that's how C++ works. So get takes this human code that we can understand, it compiles it into machine code, which is assembly, then the computer can actually access that. It can use this file and okay, that's all its instructions. So if I took this binary here, this file, and tried to run it on Windows, it more than likely would not work because I'd have to take this code and then compile that on Windows into an exe and then Windows could do, it, it could understand what's going on. All right, so that's how it works. So C++ is multi-platform. You can use it on Linux, Mac, and Windows. It's just you have to compile it for each one, which if you have multi-platform in mind from day one, it's not that huge of an issue. Let me get the game for you a second. This game, Civilization 5, actually is pre-compiled for Windows and also pre-compiled for Linux, so it natively supports Linux. A game as big as Civilization 5 supports Linux. It's multi-platform. There's no real argument that says C++ isn't multi-platform because C++ is multi-platform. You can use it on Linux, Windows, Mac, whatever. It's just you have to compile it. So that's why C++ is not a language for making websites because it wouldn't work. If I made a website in C++, which is possible, and I compiled it for Linux, I could, only Linux users could use it. Or if I made a website in C++ on Windows, only Windows users could use it. So not a good thing. We want everybody to use it. So Java is multi-platform. Like you can write Java code, run it once anywhere, Mac, Windows, or Linux. But Java is a bit slower than C++ because C++, right? C++ natively interacts with your your CPU, which is your computer's brain. So C++ is super fast. It's super low level. But then you get Java and Java has this extra layer called the Java Virtual Machine, which is what it interacts with your CPU and then Java interacts with that. So it's going to work on Mac, Lin Windows, and Linux without having to compile for each one. It's just going to be a bit slower than C++. What's the use for Java then? Java is a good language if you're making web applications. Definitely a solid option there. If you're doing web-based stuff and you need something and you're like, oh man, C++ would be really useful here. The uses of C++, well, that's where Java comes in. But this is Java prints this program here just prints out hello world basic program what about if you're trying to program super small things like what if you're trying to program a smart fridge or what if you're trying to program what if you're trying to program the electronics in this chip right here which this is a piece of a hard drive well that's where assembly comes in assembly works excellent if you're doing super super small stuff like this it works good because you can like manually control everything on this chip now assembly which C++ compiles into this. So this this is not what this code would produce. This is just how you'd say hello world in assembly. So if you want to, th this stuff is like low level, the lowest level you can get for programming languages and arguably the fastest, I guess. But C++ compiles into assembly. So you'd only want to learn assembly if you're doing like minute, super small stuff like programming these chips, so. In conclusion, I'll just review a quick second here. Web development, you're going to want HTML5, which is HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Web applications, Java. Game development, C++. Robotics, C slash C++. And OS development, which is operating systems, if you're wanting to make your own Windows, or for example, C slash C++. And Python, mm. If Python was faster, I would use it. It's just not fast enough for what I'm doing. My favorite language is C++ because I make games. So if I was a web developer, I'd probably say my favorite language is HTML. It's cold in here. I'm gonna get my heater. That's warmer.
With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have a question, comment, future video idea, leave it in the comment section. Thanks for subscribing and watching, and I'll see you next video. Right after I eat this muffin. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Also got some new lighting systems. So, perhaps the lighting is better in this video. That's what it looks like. And I threw a sock on that one because it's too bright.